Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here, I'm very proud to say I have finally reached my goal. I passed it actually quite a long time ago, but I'm currently well above 40,000 Chrono Crystals. I even had so many Chrono Crystals that I was able to spend on the Limit Break banner and still be above 40,000. The anniversary is literally around the corner. There's not much more to say really at this point unless they're dropping new hints. There is some discussions we could have right before, but the main thing is that all of you guys are saving your Chrono Crystals because no matter what drops, it's most likely going to be insanely hype and you're going to want to summon on that unit maybe even units so if it's multiple that's even worse and you'll need a lot more chrono crystals to have the best odds of getting both of the characters referring to the premium units for the guys that don't know me but the guys that do know me already know all of this i've been skipping a lot of banners i skipped the nap and vegeta banner didn't even summon a penny on it i skipped the super baby 2 banner didn't even summon a penny on it no chrono crystals going out that way i skipped a lot of rerun banners i skipped one of the limit break banners of course you can't miss out on ultra golden freezer and ultra super saiyan 2 gohan but i was very willing to miss out on ultra golden freezer but luckily i have an amazing supporter that wanted me to summon on the unit and funded those summons so in general i'm a very disciplined guy i don't just summon for anything that i think is super nice even if it is super nice i know at the end of the day when the anniversary starts up that's what's going to be my priority so i held my chrono crystals and now i'm at this point where we're literally a couple days away couple minutes away couple hours away depending on how you want to phrase it where the sixth anniversary will be starting and everybody will be summoning and enjoying the units assuming you've been saving your chrono crystals but i do also want to put out there that even if you haven't been saving it's okay they're going to give out a lot of chrono crystals during this anniversary they usually give out about 20,000 to 30,000 chrono crystals in the first month of the anniversary and even directly after the reveals and stuff we will be getting 500 chrono crystals assuming that we do reach 100,000 viewers for the reveals and stuff live stream but that's almost guaranteed in the comment section below let me know how many chrono crystals you've got right now we don't have that much time so at this point what you've got right now is what you're going to be going into the anniversary with and before we get into the bulk of this video and what i'm going to be talking about i want to push the discord server the discord server a lot of you guys that will be new to the game will find that there's a lot of help that you can get here if you join the discord server and go to the legends help channel there's a channel there where i have a lot of helpers that are willing to help you guys regarding anything you need in dragon ball legends now i have to emphasize it because there's been a lot of rude people that have been requesting demands in such improper formats please be nice to these people these guys are not slaves they're just here to help everybody simply because they're good people and you should respect them for it honestly i'm very appreciative to have this in my server but of course if you guys need the help join the discord server the link is in the description long ass intro but of course it's the sixth anniversary we gotta do what we gotta do let's get into this video man right so i felt like the best thing i should do the first thing i should do is pretty much do an account showcase since we've reached our goal and we're gonna go through the sixth anniversary naturally we're going to be in a state where you'll be upgrading your account in a sense so after the anniversary there's a lot of events a lot of units dropping a lot of chrono crystals a lot of equipments dropping there's a lot of things just coming out in general so if you do an account showcase prior you can then compare it after but let's look this is one of my best teams right now i'm it's the best team i can use right now in my, my account it's androids with well it's technically powerful opponent with uh ui goku so i'm kind of protected in a sense where purples are running the game but super 17 and red star are just insane and i've got a revival layer but that's besides the point let's go to my character list now i've already set it to legends limited so we're going to start with the legend limiteds i think that's what people want to see the most so we've got here the character list uh i think there's just some things i'm going to explain i'm not going to explain anything everything but i'm going to explain some things that i feel are worthy of the explaining for myself so um super saiyan goku i think i got one copy of him when he dropped for showcase purposes but he wasn't that great he's a lot better now with his plat but of course the meta is in a state where he can't really shine regardless bardock and goku i think i only got one copy and i've been z powering them plus the new year's uh festival banners you know the the tickets you could buy bomku i'm a gt main I'm, as much as it might not look like it i'm a gt main you know what i'm saying i had to go ahead and start him up bomku is a good investment MVP 17, I didn't have him until the end of the 2023 festival. And I already have him nine stars just off luck, to be honest. So shout out to MVP 17. Going into greens, 14 star Pycon in the festival, but I summoned heavy on him when he released. It didn't matter to me that he was trash on release or appeared trash on release. I immediately summoned just because he's a fusion warrior, because I'm a fusion warrior main. I keep it real. 
It doesn't matter if you're bad, you should summon based on how you want to play and what you like. You can still make people work. So the Vegeta clan means that be complaining, get to work and just make a better team. You can make things cook, man. Shout out PyCon, but PyCon's actually really, really, really good. Red Sign, I starred him up from like eight stars, uh, which is a good invest as well. Tag fours are almost there. Starred them up a lot, but not too much. Uh, UI Goku... Here yeah, I started him up quite a bit, but I think I just finished him prior to the festival. Rev uh, Han got him high star prior to the festival. People often look at Gold Freezer and be like, how is Gold Freezer only five stars? It's because I only got one copy because I don't mess with Freezer. You know, I got the one copy and I was just like, all right, whatever. But then I got a few comp few copies or whatever in the, um, not the, it's in the festival. It's in the festival. So yeah, uh, out of my yellows. I can't really explain anything. I guess pretty much Bardock is probably the most missing piece. It's like, how is he not seven stars to Zenkai? I don't know, man. I only pulled like two copies in the festival. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Let me slide. Uh, 200 Z power, then I can Zenkai him. It's a very good Zenkai. I'm working towards it. And this is my most wanted unit, 14 stars, besides from Bardock and Goku. Bardock and Goku are Legends Original, so I'm working on starring them up to 14 because they're definitely going to drop a new Legends Original this year, 100%. So once I 14 star Bardock and Goku, I'm going to start putting in my LRZ power into the Gammas 1 and 2 because I really like this unit. I feel like they're a very good unit and can work well on Androids. The tag switch is super useful and obviously the, the prep time thing, if you use it well, it's better than Brew Bros because you can switch out of them and then time it correctly to, to hit somebody. Uh, especially if it's a purple, you can do crazy damage. Shout out the Gammas, bro. Going into reds, I think there's not much to explain besides maybe Super 17. Like, I'm very disgusting for this, I know. But I got very lucky summoning on his banner. Super, super lucky. And I Z-powered him the rest of the way. 14 star Super 17. He's a fusion warrior. I had to do it. I'm real to the cause. But of course, I like using him on Androids as well. Like I showed you with that powerful opponent team. Android team that I'm using with UI leader. So yeah, that's dope. And then we got Beast Gohan here. I guess another explainable. I got him very... I got very lucky. Obviously, in the first part of the festival 2023... I was not putting in my stock into Evil Ken. Like, what's wrong with you? I didn't even touch on them. I'm going to go back to them. I'm not putting in my stock into Evil Ken. Like, who's doing that? Why would you have done that? Besides only if you're a Vegeta clan guy. It just didn't make sense. If you're a Sun Family guy, you would go for Beast Gohan. He was the better unit in terms of damage. But Evil Ken were doing crazy long combos. But really and truly, it's more preference. I was clearly going for the Goat Beast, bro. Look at that. How could I miss out on this? It just had to be the case. Shout out Beast Gohan, man. I had to go get him high stars, but I didn't start him up because he was so good on release that he didn't need the extra stars. I got him to like eight, and then I Z-powered him a tiny bit. No, I didn't even Z-powered him. I think I got extra copies in the festival um, at the end, and then I ended up getting him higher than nine stars. So he's not worth the Z-power because he's already so good at this star. Getting him 14 stars is overkill. But cool, the three I don't have, I'll get into Evil Ken in a sec. The three I don't have, Nappa and Vegeta, I skipped the banner completely. Super Baby 2, I skipped the planet completely. And Super Vegeta, I skipped the banner completely. I didn't summon one Chrono Crystal on any of those guys' banners. It wasn't worth it. I didn't need to. I was focused on saving for the anniversary because the anniversary is very close, you know. But Evil Ken, I didn't even touch on them, but I got one copy and let them go. Three stars, I didn't pull any other copies, didn't, not Z-powering them. There's, it's not worth it for me. I do like using them, I can't lie. It's fun to have long combos now and then, but if I want to do that, I'll just use uh, Super 17. So, unfortunately, they they age poorly. Anyways, I even dropped a video on uh, the downfall of Evil Ken and why they're the only premium unit from the festival to fall off. It's pretty sad, but game is game, man. Game is game. Let's go into the ultras now. I need to change my setting. Uh, you'll see that I don't summon on everything as well. So, Ultra Super Goji at the first summonable Ultra had to 14 star him. Ultra Rose, I didn't sub 14 star him off rip. I think I got him on the rerun 14 star. Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, uh, I got two copies and let it go. If he reruns, I might spend a few CCs. UGB, I think I spent like 90k. He's my worst summoning experience for an Ultra. 90,000 Chrono Crystals is insane. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Ultra Golden Freezer. I plan to skip him. My full intention was to skip his banner. But shout out to Michelle. He funded the summon so that I could actually get him for showcase purposes. Which is why he's only one copy. He's only one copy. If I like an ultra, I'll get them to high stars. Vegeta's free to play. Kyle Ken, I think I 14 starred him on the rerun. Because I was expecting him to get a plat, but he just didn't. Ultra Super Vegito, I think it spent like 70,000 Chrono Crystals on his release. It was worth it. I love that guy. Ultra Kid Boo, I pulled one copy on his release and I pulled a second copy on a rerun. Um, I would like him 14 star. I feel like he's one of the sleeper ultras in the game. He can be a top tier if you've got him 14 stars. But of course, it's just Kid Boo at the end of the day. So people won't use him out of preference. Ultra UI, 
Shout out KSI, man. Funded that summon. Love that guy, man. I'll never forget that. It's in my heart. Had to 14 star him off rip. I don't need to explain further. Ultra UI is a menace. Ultra hit, 14 starred him on a rerun. Uh, I had him like two copies at, on release, but then I 14 starred him later down the line. Ultra Vegeta Blue, I think he took 70,000 Chrono Crystals, 14 starred him off rip. The old UVB agenda, shout out BLZ. He even made the thumbnail on this video for the, the, the G4 art. Shout out to him, man. His art is beautiful. Then Super Saiyan Goku and Omega are free to play. I haven't spent one penny on Broly's banner. I don't care about him. I actually do not care about him. He's mid anyways. He was mid on release, dead on release. I guess some people could use him effectively, but he's so unnecessary. And Janemba, I just knew he was going to fall off simply because his ultimate only pops once. So I didn't spend one Chrono Cross on him, but it's more so the timing as well. He released right before the festival, so naturally there was nothing going for him. Now, let's go into just the sparking box. I guess people just might want to see just what I don't have, but these are the non-legend limiteds. I'm not really going to go into anything here, maybe just what I don't have. Uh, you guys can like pause if you see anything that you find interesting, uh, I guess. But for the most part, it's just like sparking, you know. I, there's nothing really to not explain here. It's all self-explanatory for the most part, but I guess I'll just show it. I guess at the bottom, you'll see what I don't have. And what I don't have, I didn't summon on this banner. Didn't summon on this banner. All the Ginyu Force didn't summon on the banner. I don't know how, but I just didn't pull Golden Freezer. The yellow one, I forgot what banner he was on, but I just didn't pull him. Trunks, I just didn't pull him. And Goku and Yamcha, I didn't summon on their banners, so... Those are all my missing sparkings. Those are the best ones to probably explain, but the rest of the like regular sparkings probably don't need explaining. I guess for sake, I can show you the heroes if you're in and the EXs if you're interested. So here are the EXs if you want to pause. But like these, I don't have. If you're wondering, I guess this is the only one I do want. But like just because they're a tag switch unit, and then if we go to heroes again, it doesn't really matter. But I guess I'll just show you for the flex. So that's pretty much my account box in terms of characters. I guess you might want to see my equipments. Uh, in terms of my equipments here, I'll start at Godly. I've got a lot of Godly equipment, so I'm not going to lie. Let me just check the filters are great. Yeah, cool. So I've got a lot. I'll just scroll down slowly. Um, anything I care about, I try to get them Godly straight away. I have very, very good, um, very high, sorry, um, what do you call it? OCD in a sense, where anything that's not a yellow slot first, I pretty much sell it. So my slots are perfect, but this is a, an account of a player that's been playing for six years. If it's not a red slot in the first slot, because you can't re-roll the first slot, I pretty much sell it immediately so that I can actually get a good slot. So you'll see all the godlies are like perfection. This is an exception here because it's regen and I don't use regen a lot. So like I just left it, but I'll probably sell it and regrind it later. This is a Legends Road equip, which is why it's not a red slot the first, but I'll probably sell it and try to do another one. I try to be a Legends Road main. Um, I'll actually show you that in a second. It's actually funny. Um, but yeah, those are all my godlies. Uh, I'll show you the Z pluses. There's a lot of these as well, but these just haven't seen a lot of upgrades. And some of them are just good uh, yellow slots from like my earlier days. Or some cases I just had to try rush and get an equip for a showcase. That just happens a lot, but I try to avoid it. There's a lot of red slots here that are just not upgraded yet. It takes a time. I'm prioritizing certain things. And slot removers sometimes can be annoying as well. So it's a process. Even in the S's, it's the same thing. So yeah. And then from there, it's pretty much just some A's. And then everything else is just something I haven't upgraded yet. I said, like, I keep things just because I haven't bothered to upgrade them. Uh, you'll see after I get past all these A's what I mean by that. So, yeah, if I go to, like, uh, F, E, D, C, B. And let me just sell some of the useless ones so you can actually see a good representation of it. I've got a lot of equipments here because of the Legends Pass, so I'm able to store a lot. But I can just sell these and get over with. All right, there we go. Uh, let me go to upgrade so you can get a better view. You can see here I have like a lot of red slots of equipments that I won't necessarily use. But some of them are, can be good. These ones here are just from the event. I've got so many. So many. I'm not going to use any of these. Because I think this equipment even awakens. But I'm not going to use any of them. So let me sell them just to make it clearer for you. There we go. That might hurt some of you guys. But like they're useless to be honest. So this is my equipment bunch here over here. That are things that I haven't upgraded. I don't know how this is snuck here. But I guess it's, the red's first slot's red. So it's pretty good. But... The equipment can go so low, 1% and then 6% on the middle slot. It's insane. But yeah, that's all my equipments. I'm still working on some equipment. Um, I can show you some of my teams. Like I was going to show you the Legends Road uh, team. It's actually the team I'm most proud of. Super proud of this team. Some of you guys are going to look at it like, oh wait. I can't because I, ha I don't have this team saved. My bad, my bad. Let me, let, me, let me take over this one. Actually, I like this team too. Right, this one I can take over. <laughs> uh, so cool. Yeah, cool. 
okay let me show you the peak the peak of legends roll look at this i was actually working towards it seriously and it's like okay and i didn't make the video of it i really should and it's like it would be it make for a fun video because i actually have every single peak equipment for legends road the team's super good defensively but they have no offenses they all need plats and i know they gave this goku a plat but the rest of them need plats as well and they need to zenkai this one the one gohan uh this one here they announced it years ago but they never followed through with it where is he this one here they announced it years ago but they never followed through with it so it's like what the hell but yeah legend road a pretty good dub uh, I guess I could show you the rest of the teams that I have built just for sake. Uh, maybe somebody will want to copy. This is like my prized possession, Fusion Warriors. I've got Super 17 on it currently. Uh, this is one of my prized possessions, GT. I don't have Super Baby 2, unfortunately. Uh, let's go to another team. I have them preset. This is my Sun Family team that I'm using recently. Uh, it's pretty good as well, but I just don't like using Sun Family as of recent. Hybrid Saiyans, you know you gotta go red, red, green, Beast, Gohan, and Pan's ultimate duo, but Ultra Gohan fits on the team as well. Uh, going into movies, it's a team I don't use, it's just I made one and then I kind of just left it. But Ultra Gohan and Freezer, of course, with Beast and Pan. And then uh, Powerful Opponent, Super 17, Jiren, they work super well together, super dope. Uh, you could get a better team than that though, but these are just like the pretext I have. Androids, like I've been using, I was using Hellfire 17 for fun, but I stopped using him uh, because... UI is just the better choice. And then uh what else is here? Saiyans? Saiyans is pretty dope too. Let's put it up. It's kind of some family because of Pan, but Saiyans is just Goku's anyway. Vegeta don't hold up in any sense. And then do I have anything else? I guess I have a budget LOE team. I do not use it. I just used it for Ultra Golden Freezer's release. So you can have a look at that. Uh anything else here? It's just LOE with Bomb Q. Uh the team I'm using similarly right now, but yeah it's, it's not the same thing it's just uvb it's fusions basically with ui goku i was just having fun with it the ultra instinct team this is the one of my prized possessions as well you just dodge all game and win by time accounts it's pretty lame but it's fun to annoy people sometimes but yeah that's pretty much my character box and everything like that i don't think there's anything else for me to show you to be honest uh that's pretty much it i guess it's a dope account i always put giblet uh saying in red on my home screen because he's got the best drip that jacket is tough as hell and he has so much aura where he's covering it he's got his hood over and he's like looking super dope but yeah my z level is six seven nine it should be higher than that i just don't claim my z missions um yeah i just don't claim my z missions uh because i'm saving the cc from them and you're gonna see that in the in the anniversary but that's pretty much it for my account man i guess that's why i wanted to do for this video since I've pretty much finished saving, I need to do my daily, so I've got a bit more CC to get. But for the most part, I'm pretty much at that point where of completion. So, hey, it's been a long time coming with this game. I've played six years. There's still a lot more to come, and this game isn't dying anytime soon, as people try to claim every so often. The game just enters dry spells, and people get caught up in it. But the game is very much thriving more than ever. Thriving thriving but yeah man that's going to be the end of the video i think i just took up the video to show my account and if anyone's curious we've hit our chrono crystal goal so it's just waiting for the anniversary to start at this point and it's going to be a good time i'm certain of it it might not be better than last anniversary but i hope they do make an anniversary better than last year but i'm just saying even if they don't i'm pretty still pretty sure it'll be a good time and depending on what units they drop ultimately for me it's always the units that make or break the anniversary more than anything else the events are obviously a big factor but if the units are trash or not hype it's all also gonna turn me off for the anniversary because this is meant to be something i was waiting for pr pretty much the whole year and then you just make it average or like not hype for me come on man but that's why i'm always hyped because i know they're gonna drop a fusion warrior they don't they, they can't breathe without dropping a fusion warrior and they know they're gonna get money and they got quotas to reach but of course if you haven't already make sure to press that subscribe button we're on this grind to 100 000 subscribers good luck for everybody saving good luck in the anniversary i appreciate you guys for watching the video man my name is akashi guys and i'll see you guys in the next one man